one cough and we're like, uh oh. <laughs> Jude is literally the funniest person I know. He said he was stress eating because he lost Uno. <laughs> and he wants to know if there's this thing as anger eating. So I just woke up a bit ago and Jude is now awake. He was super excited to see his cousin to the point he was dancing. So cute. She just turned three, so she's little, but he doesn't care. He's like, a kid, a kid. Also, I just got my Amazon notifications. I am receiving my books today because I decided I'm going to start a Bible study with my close, close girlfriends. I needed this. I needed this because, like I had mentioned yesterday, I've been feeling really down. I know it's because my faith needs to be strengthened during this time. I'm worrying too much when I should be trusting and being patient and um, I, I'm just trying too much and that's me trying to control things when I know damn well I ain't got no control. Today's focus is going to be drinking more water. I haven't been drinking enough water. Uh, here we go. So I have this tub here that I keep in my hall closet. It has a bunch of just scrap ribbon that was on sale and I'm wrapping this bow around this teddy bear that Jude wants to give to his cousin. Hey, Moana. Yeah, call her Moana. Moana, come on. Come on, Tanui. Come on, Tanui. Moana. Oh, my girl. Let's open your surprise. So cute. What is it? <gasps> Did Jude get you? Also from Montanui. So oh my goodness. I'm wearing a costume. Yeah, you are wearing your costume, huh? Hey, Arms. Look at my balls. It's all dirty. It's okay. Yeah, it's outside. Let's play together. <laughs> Let's play together, see? She needed you. Yeah. The grass is wet, though, Aubrey. Whoa. I did have a pink dress. dress. Stop. Okay, hold on. This is not what I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to show Aubrey's throwback hairstyle. That's all. I'm pretty sure I rocked that to winter formal, military bar ball, and also prom. prom. Yeah. Snap. You did. It was like a Black dress. Wait. You guys are obsessed with me. Can You're you guys Metallic? stop talking about me? You're Metallic dress. Yes. Wow. One cough and we're like, uh-oh. You guys like my shirt? Oh, snap! Only because I don't want to cook, we're at McDonald's. Don't judge me! It's the first time out. You know what? I've realized that we haven't filled up gas or gone to the grocery store since all this madness happened, which is awesome. Did you go? Yeah, I went already. Okay. Uh. What are you going to do? Ah! <laughs> For the love of God! So I'm currently making tops like this live on my Poshmark, so if you guys want to purchase them. As soon as the post office opens, I'm going to be dropping off all of your guys' orders. And I'm suspecting a lot of you guys are watching my vlog, so it means a lot that you would support my little side hustle. So I finally found two cameras that I can potentially film with again. It's gonna be one of these old babies. And I also found my Sony AI or A1, something like that. Um, something happened to it, and I'll find out if it's still like usable. Um, but yeah, I just went through this bin right here and it has a bunch of my old electronics, including a 70D camera that Jude smashed 
when he was raging one day, Lord have mercy. Right now, I am really just concentrating on like organizing my store or my closet. So for dinner tonight, Jude and I are having these little Tupperware containers filled with food. So we have our Texas toast here, linguine pasta with shrimp scampi and some steamed vegetables. That noise was mine. And in my container, we have some chicken teriyaki, some edamame, and there's a few hidden gyozas in here, maybe like two or three of them. But yeah, so what I do is when I cook our meals, I'll set aside little containers like this so I don't have to cook the following day or when Jude's with his dad, this will be my dinner or lunches during that period of time so I don't have to cook or waste food. Jude actually had a really hard day today because the effects of not being able to play with his friends, like I mentioned yesterday, has been so hard on him. And um, luckily for us, we were able to access a ton of emails um, on his Google Classroom. So he could share like his username for um, online gaming and things like that so he can stay in touch with some of his friends. As an only child, it is very difficult for me too because I feel like I am obligated to entertain him all day long because of how lonely he is. Like the loneliness is at a, an all time high and I'm just trying to figure out ways that we both can stay happy. But right now it just seems really challenging for me as his parent. Anyhow, so I heard him online with an old friend of his. The reason why I said his old friend is because um, I used to be friends with his mom. That friendship ended because of how inappropriate she acted at school with Jude because of an incident that happened between Jude and her child. I was really shocked that she would do something like that and then tell me that she did what she did, which I'm not even going to go into detail about it because it's just that ridiculous. It's just going to piss me off again. I mean, aside from bullying, aside from being attacked and beat up and things like that, I mean, I do not stand for that because Jude has had history of being bullied at school and this is why it was so difficult for him to be at school. I don't even want to talk about that. When kids get into little arguments or tiffs and things like that, I mean, they're kids for crying out loud, um, you just encourage them to walk away. You encourage them to separate for a while. Somehow kids always find their way back to each other, right? So anyhow, before this even happened, she was actually contacting my ex to pretty much tell him off. And I'm like, oh no, like not even my sisters would do that. Not my mom, not my best friends. Like she's just my friend. Girl, this is not your place. Like, what are you doing? This is too much. So she got mad at me and then we stopped talking because of that. And then something happened with her kid and my kid at school. So she went up to Jude and pretty much told him off, screaming at him in front of everybody like a maniac. And she told me about it. Like I was gonna be like, yeah, get him. Like, are you out of your damn mind? Like I wanted to go over her house and kick her ass. I was so pissed and my blood is boiling thinking about it again. Um, she never, she never apologized or anything like that. What she did do was reach out to one of my sisters, sister, not to me, but to my sister to ask her how Jude was and she hopes we're well. Like, bitch, don't ask about us. I heard Jude was talking to her son on the internet. These two boys were best friends. So when I heard that they were getting to like a little fight or a little tiff, I knew it was going to subside. That's why I just left it alone. I didn't tell him, stay away from him. I didn't say any of that stuff and I don't have anything against him. So I was okay with Jude talking to him because I know that was Jude's really good friend. And when they switched schools because of what happened, um, it was really hard for Jude. Jude cried a lot about it. We prayed for that family. We prayed for Jude's heart and that, and that little kid's heart because when those kinds of extreme actions happen, you can't undo that. And you would think when they would announce, like you guys are not gonna have school, you guys you know, we're gonna be on quarantine because we're gonna be like, woohoo! No, Jude was sobbing because he's like, no, I just made friends and now I can't see them anymore. So, ugh, it's hard. What do you mean? I don't like nuts. I can knock the nuts off for you. It's fine. You want me to? Yeah. Okay. 
What did I sign up for? Okay, okay listen, listen, dude's bedtime now has been upgraded to 9.30, okay? I know, we're wild over here. Anyways, so dude, we're playing Uno right now, and I'm like, what time is it? And I'm sitting over at the at the table, and I'm trying to see the time on, on the stove, and I'm like, <laughs> literally like, <laughs> yeah, it's 9.30. And he goes and he checks, and it's... I don't know. My bad. My bad. You said Jesus Christ, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, what'd you say? And you're like, my king. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky you listen to worship music, boy. I'm gonna knock you out. Don't do that, Mom. No, your saliva was all over it. What? This is not. my chocolate. Never mind. I don't want to. No, I'll do that That's one. That's yours. Then. That's yours. I want the uh, the chocolate fudge one, or is it literally all vanilla? The all vanilla. Oh. Now the one I usually get has the different flavors. Excuse I me, spoiled. You're like, is there a chocolate center one? Hey guys, welcome to the Mexico channel. Jude's talking a bunch of trash because he's in his underwear and he knows I won't film him. So <laughs> if you know, I'm like, wait a minute. So if I win for the third time in a row, Jude's going to sleep. But if he wins, we'll play another round. So, who do you think's gonna win, Jude? Me. Doubt it. Will someone please take this kid from my house? No, you. Ugh. Listen, you're going down. And if you bring Yella up in this game again, you're gonna be grounded. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I see them! <laughs> With my green card and everything. No, you get it. I am. <laughs> Jude is literally the funniest person I know. He said he was stress eating because he lost Uno. <laughs> and he wants to know if there's this thing as anger eating. <laughs> now look what I got, brother. So, although I like to spend time with him, I'm like, I am looking forward to um, I'm looking forward to sleeping and I'm looking forward to the break I'm gonna have the next few days because Jude will be at his dad's house and getting girl time and putting makeup on and you know not looking like this all day so yeah well I'm gonna let you guys off here because I'm gonna get a head start on my editing before I go to sleep and I'll see you tomorrow bye